we're going to look at some requirements facilitation questioning techniques. It's not always easy to get the information that you need from stakeholders. Sometimes they're reluctant to speak, sometimes they're multitasking, they're not paying attention, and there are some techniques that you can use to get those stakeholders talking. So if you want to analyze something that is being discussed, then you can say, would you please break that down for me so I can further understand? If you want to check something to make sure that there's no misunderstanding, then you can use a question like, will you share with me your understanding of what we just discussed? If you want to classify something, you can say, it would certainly help me organize my thinking if you would please classify those points. If you want to do a comparison, then you can say, can we compare that statement to the one we reviewed earlier, please? This is especially helpful if you are in a situation where you think you may have just received a conflicting requirement. So if you got one requirement earlier, somebody gives you another one, and you think that this one requirement number seven conflicts with requirement number two. So you wanna go back and say, hey, can we compare that statement to what we discussed earlier on requirement number two? And you may need to talk a little bit about number two, right? Like bring them back around to what two was so that you can have that conversation. If you want to define something, you can say, to help me understand, can you define that term for us? Describing, which means to select and define features which characterize a condition, situation, or process, you can say, can you describe a typical situation to which this might apply? If you want to discuss something, you can say, let's explore the implications and ramifications of this. If you want to explain or want them to explain, you can say, can you tell us how you arrived at that conclusion? If you want to illustrate an example, right? You want somebody to illustrate something, you can say, can anyone give me an example or two of how this would work? And then if you want to prompt them, remember earlier we said don't ask closed-ended questions. So instead of saying, is there anything else? You could say, what else? If you want to probe for more information on a specific topic, you can say something like, how do you mean? If you're trying to redirect, you can say, good point. Can we put that on the issues list? In other words, let's get back to the conversation at hand. We'll take that down. You've been heard. You want to make sure the person always feels like they've been heard, but you want to redirect the conversation back to where it should be. So you can use that as a statement to make to do that. Restating is the same really as paraphrasing, right? So you could say, in other words, or what I heard you say is, tell me if I've got this right. Any of those kind of things will work for that. Review means that you're doing a recap, right? Can we please review the points that we've covered so far is a good way to get that started. And verifying. How can we verify that this is indeed the case? So if somebody says... I think this is how this is done, or I believe this is how this is done. They're using words that don't sound like they're 100% sure that that's how something's done. Then you can say, how can we verify that that is really the case there? And then they may even say, oh, it is. It may just be that they use the wrong language in their statement, or they'll tell you how we can verify that. So those are some questioning techniques, some examples of questions that you can ask when you're looking get at something in a certain way.